Hey, hello and welcome to a new travel vlog. We are in Amsterdam. We are waiting in the line. A massive line. It's like we are now... Two hours and a half. Two hours and a half in the waiting line for uh, security. This is crazy. This is really, really crazy. This is massive. There are a lot of people that are missing their flights. Maybe two? Yeah, it will be very tight to get the flight. We are nearly there. This is security, so nearly there. Uh, this is crazy. But where are we going? Well, you saw it on the title, so you know where we're going. <laughs> we're going to Iceland. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Not very. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to expect. You don't know what to expect? Well, lava, volcanoes, <laughs> lava, yeah, ice, okay, land. waterfalls, many waterfalls. So it seems to be a very <laughs> trolls. Uh, so it seems to be very, very, very beautiful. Just something special, something different. But first mission, catch our flight. And we are really dressed, not very uh, stylish dressed, but dressed for all weather conditions. <laughs> and my wife has a, has a lovely yellow rain jacket. She wants that for the black beaches. So first mission, let's see if we can get him. There was a problem with her jacket, but there was actually no problem with her jacket. <laughs> they wanted to check it, and before her there was one with a bag, and they took everything out of the bag. Everything, 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 and they just keep searching and searching, and we were like, come on. My wife and my son was already going to the gate. We ran. Traveling is fun. Iceland so there were uh, a slight delay because they need to take the luggage out of the plane because there was a lot of people that didn't catch the plane because of the waiting line that is so bad if you don't get your plane because waiting line we had to wait for three hours so that was was not good now we are going to take our luggage Somebody is going to pick up, pick us up here. We have seen Iceland from the air. Yeah. It's really strange, strange land. It's really, yeah, something different. I'm so excited. Let's go.
this is our car, Discovery uh, Land Rover Sport. So we have to have four wheel drive, otherwise you cannot go to the F roads, only the ring road. You can go with the normal car, with, with, a, with a duster here, with this car, you can go on the ring road, just the paved road, but the F roads, you cannot go there. It's not that we are going to do many of those roads, but we want to do Land Manaloga tomorrow and that's why we need this car. So let's get everything in the back and start our road trip. We are going around the island in 13 days with the start today of the Golden Circle. Tomorrow Land Manalogar is on the planning and then we start on our big drive along the coast of South Iceland with the highlights Selja Landsfoss, Skogafoss, Black Beach and of course the amazing glacier. After that we are going through the west to the north where we are going to do whale watching and horseback riding. We end our road trip on the east coast with the amazing Snaffelsnes Peninsula and Reykjavik. So we're in the car and the first stop that we are going to do is Tingvilir. All the names will be very difficult to pronounce. I will not even try some words, some places to pronounce or to speak out. It's very difficult, but I think Sometimes if I speak it out, the name like Ting Velir, it's, I think, about right. So Ting Velir, it's a place where the two continental plates are shifting and you can feel the Euro plate, Euro Asian plate is it, I think, and then the American plate. So we're going to walk between the two plates and there's a, a visitor center and maybe we have to stop, maybe we have to stop. For a supermarket because we have to buy water, supplies, eat, eat food. <laughs> we need, need to eat. We need food. Uh, so and here also, it's the the, <laughs> the policemen are here. Uh, so they are really strict here in Iceland for speeding and yeah, everything. It's a very safe country, Iceland. The uh, criminality numbers are very very low so it's a really good thing uh, but they are really strict in driving and everything so you have to watch out I have a speed limiter on my car so I have to use that so let's go to Tingvelir our first stop and our Iceland trip is really started and we are looking at uh, the scenery and it's different it's already different Before we go into Tingvelir, we're going to eat some sandwich. What do you have? Ham? No. Lamb? Lamb. Lamb and egg. Smoked lamb. Do you have? Salmon? Salmon. Salmon. You have... What do you have? Chicken. Chicken tiki masala. And you have a muffin. Ah. Okay, so this is this is really great. Look at this this view there. Uh, okay, first eating, then 
going to visit. So how cool is this? So one side is Euro Asian <laughs> a little bump Euro Asian and then the other side is uh, America. So the two plates are shifting here. So how cool is this place? And the rock formation is amazing. Look at that. This is the first thing that we see. And it's already beautiful. I already took off my jacket because it's warm. I didn't expect that. So at least if it's just the warmest day of our road trip and it's the first day, then I will enjoy it. Uh, but uh, let's pray for some more good weather. We will have rain, that's for sure. We will have rain. Uh, but hey, you can always hope for the best, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? No! <laughs> So this was uh, the first parliament place here. So it's a really slightly curved and here also the rocks. And if you talk, you can hear everything. Uh, and in 930, the first law written here. And then every time the fifth law and, and every time something was needed to be done on a new law, they wrote it here, they discussed it first, and they wrote here uh, new laws. But what was also very interesting, well, interesting, well, I don't know if it's interesting, here, here in the water, there is a, I would say big waterfall, but we're going to see some bigger ones, so, but the waterfall and here, people were punished, and a very common thing, uh, in the past was here in Iceland people were drowned as punishment and they were tied up here in the water as, until they drowned they dr they drowned they drowned they drowned drowned, drowned. how is it in english drowned 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 i don't know it, they they died <laughs> that's for sure but ugh, it's really if you visit history everywhere, everywhere in Spain, in France, uh, everywhere in Europe, people were cruel. Uh, well, people can be still be cruel. We never learn. But hey, I hope someday there will be no war. Am I dreaming? Maybe. But hey, maybe.
this is so beautiful so especially that view I know here is the waterfall it's amazing it's beautiful but the water is streaming between the two continental plates there and that's some kind of scenery for Vikings or Lord of the Rings or even Brave. Yes, it's drawn, I know, but it's the scenery that you see, like, yeah, I don't know where. Big moves. You can sit here for hours, but you don't have the time to sit here for hours. You have to see other things, other amazing things. So, if this is the first step of two weeks, this will be great. was an amazing start of our road trip wasn't it yes yes so uh, next stop is Geysir and uh, Geysir that's the name for all the Geysirs all over the world that was born here the name uh, but the funny thing is it's not Geysir that is exploding. exploding water in the air it's Strotur so there are two holes and Strotur Strotur I, I don't know, I don't know, uh, but it's not Geysir, so he's just not spraying any water in the sky anymore. So first we're going to see that, it's one hour driving, and a little town, Laugervatten, or something like that. We're going to the supermarket, and we're going to buy some food for this evening, maybe for breakfast tomorrow. And a snoepke. Oh, candy, you want to have a candy? Okay. We don't say candy, we say, we say a snoepke. Uh, and Dutch we say a snoepke. <laughs> <laughs> so you learn Dutch now. So let's say candy, snoepke. <laughs> let's go. Was it uh, a beautiful road mm -hmm. along the side? Yes. Yes? Did you film maybe? <laughs> no, I did oh. not film. I did not film. <laughs> <laughs> What, what, what? What, what? What the... A biased in my eye. A biased, a fly in your eye. A biased. A biased. Oh my God. Okay, uh, we have arrived at Geysir. So let's see if he's going to spray some water. can smell like rotten eggs here it's the how do you call that in, in English it's a sulfate yes it's sulfur. A sulf sulfur that you smell so it's really but it's nature it's nature it's like if you're passing cows 
or pigs. It's nature. You like it? The smell or the view? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's boat. a different answer. Eh? <laughs> I did not know it was going up, 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 and it's uh, it's gravel on the floor, so it's really it's really steep. So short but steep. But hey, we do everything for see something in nature. It was not necessary to do this walk up. You could easily go flat to the geishas. I thought I saw that on the pictures that it was on, on, on the same level, but we took this road and it was not the right road. And the feet, well, look, then you get this view, wait. Oh, you get this view. <laughs> So, let's see if we can... I hope we are not walking on the top there. I think we are. Then we go back. I'm not going up there. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm not going on top of that. You're not. No. You're very not. No. Nope. There's extra for nothing, eh? Yes. This is not good. So. You park your car, you cross the street, it's not that road, this is going up. You go a little bit further, a little bit further on the right, and there is on the same level the geisha. So, or you want to hike to the top, then you take this road. But if you don't want to, then you go on the street and the same level you see the geisha. So that was cool. Now we're going to see if we can eat something here because we're very hungry and we didn't find the restaurant or oh, the uh, shops, the supermarkets in the small town. We didn't find it. So just to make sure that we have some food today, we're going to eat here and uh, see breakfast tomorrow. That's the problem for tomorrow then. But now we are all hungry. It was three o'clock that we get out of the bed and uh, we turned the clock two hours back and now it's like four what is it uh, 420 420 so it's like 620 it's normal that we are hungry so we don't take any chances we're going to eat here okay so we have five burgers we wanted to eat fish and chips but there were none so just burger um, okay it's so better that than nothing but I guess it smells good and my daughter is still waiting 
on hers. Just a few minutes from Geysir, uh, we arrived at Gullfoss, it's just five minutes driving or something. And I have my mic because it's really windy here and you wouldn't understand me. So I made an investment. I hope it was the right one. <laughs> now at the editing uh, moment it's like, oh no, my sound is not good. But it's always better, otherwise the wind is blowing in the mic and, and, and it's bad. So, it's the biggest waterfall in two steps of Iceland, they say. So, let's believe them. Um, many years ago, it was nearly ended here with Gullfoss. And there was a lady, maybe we'll see a picture. They say there was a picture somewhere of the lady that saved Gullfoss. Uh, they wanted to make uh, a power unit uh, or something, a central from streaming water, uh, electricity, you know what. A dam. A dam. <laughs> they wanted to build a dam. So uh, she, she saved it. So let's thank her so we all can see the beauty of this waterfall. Oh, that's big. Look. Huge. This is crazy and you only get the rainbow of course oh like this like He's gone. if the sun is out if you don't have sun if there's a cloud or a rainy day you don't have the rainbow so we are lucky we have seen the rainbow over this amazing big waterfall this is huge this is Iceland, guys. This is Iceland. Look at the spray. Look at the rainbow again. The rainbow. Only if the sun comes up, then you see the rainbow. But we're going through the mist, so we're going to be soaking wet. Told you we're going to be wet. I cannot see anything through my glasses anymore. But it's so beautiful, so big. The power of the water is coming down. It's massive. This is. Thank God, it was saved. Look. This is just the first day of our road trip. I don't know if you can beat this. Let's see. 